I've got a really great video to share with you about how to marble blown eggs using shaving foam and food colouring. I originally filmed this video as a Facebook Live three years ago. Can you believe it? Um, marble with shaving foam. So I'm going to move the camera down a bit so you can see what I'm doing. If that's straight. I've got a baking tray and I've got some everyday shaving foam and oops, and I am going to, oh this is quite satisfying, um, line the tray with the shaving foam. I don't really know how much I want but I think probably that will do. And then take the food colouring, oops, this one hasn't got a dropper so it's just straight in so I'm going to pour some into the cap and splodge it over the top and again I don't really know how much to put on I should have perhaps put some plastic gloves on and now it looks like I've murdered somebody but it's too late for gloves now and the irony is if I reach around here I have a pair of gloves that came from the chemist, but never mind, we'll pursue. And then some green food colouring. And this is just the colours, oh, it's a bit gloopy in that one. Just the colours I happen to have at home. So, slop that on. And then the yellow. Yeah, that's thicker as well, perhaps it's slightly older. They all come from the same place. And then with my kebab stick, as you would do, you know when you make Bakewell tarts or you ice a cake and you're doing a simple decoration, um, what's this called? Fanning, fluting? Not quite sure. Ooh. And you make a pretty pattern. So if nothing else, you've had the lovely experience of making a temporary work of art. You can see there that Obviously, there's some sort of reaction going on. I don't know if that's because my food cup, that's the new food colouring. The red decided to clump up there, but perhaps that's all part of the chemical process. I'm not sure. I'm going to take one of my duff eggs and then you roll it into the shaving foam. So it's a bit like making a snowball when it doesn't really want to run along in the snow properly. And here I've got a cloth, so it's an old muslin I've got, um, and just to set it down. And then let's go for the other one. Roll that around in the foam. Like so, and I think then I have to leave them for a while, not rub off the foam for too long. Shall I just go ahead and do that third one? I'm kind of saving my duck eggs until I know I've got the technique right. So you are my guinea pigs here to see whether it works. And then what I'm hoping to do with this foam, obviously it's massively wasteful of resources, is to then have this foam sitting there. And what I'm going to do is um, my little one really loves making slime and ideally she'd be at the end of the table, I'd be making my eggs and then I'd pass the foam on to her to make some slime. So I'm not quite sure how long I have to leave those. I might just, what shall I do? I might leave the two that were already painted off on the side and see then start to wipe off the uh, hmm. <laughs> perhaps I'm just destined never to have marbled eggs because if I'm mopping all that off um, there's nothing left and I'm getting impatient and wiping it all off that didn't work
So what I would do is I'm going to leave those other two eggs to sort of prove, if that's the right word, for marbling eggs. It just looks so simple to do on YouTube. Perhaps I haven't got enough food colouring in there. I'm being too subtle with my markings. So what I will do is I'm going to leave that one and then I will come back. Perhaps I need to leave them for a couple of hours just for the colours to soak in. And perhaps then the, um, the moussey foam, the shaving foam, will have, um, you know, sort of crackled down and sort of become less fluffy. Maybe it will just sort of um, crumble away. So uh, it's quite fun to get your hands in to the foam, but not massively successful. But uh, trial and error. So that's three I've tried and um, I'm going to save my lovely duck eggs. I guess if it doesn't work, there's going to be no harm though, is there? Because if it doesn't work, I can just wipe them off. Let's go. Let's go a bit more food colouring, be a bit more adventurous with my colour. So we're just going to slop it on direct from the bottle. Oops, oh goodness me, looks like I have had a nosebleed there. It's funny that the two food colourings have a totally different consistency. So I can flop some of that foam over there, fill up that gap. And then here we are, duck egg. Right, and get the duck egg to work. That um, red food colouring looks quite disgusting actually. It's gone all granulated in the pan. Again, perhaps I need to be bolder with the colours. Perhaps you know, a dark blue would work better. But trial and error. So there we have it there. I hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel. If you hit the notification bell, you'll always know when I upload a new video.